This is an unprecedented emergency. At a city council hearing today, the Adams administration testified with the shelter system at capacity, they might have to reopen that massive tent on Randall's Island, a plan the city council says it opposes. You referenced uh, Commissioner Iskall uh, reopening the Randall's Island facility as a possibility, and this council stands opposed to uh, reinstating those open tent city facilities. By the time that emergency shelter on Randall's Island was ready to go, a change in border policy had slowed the flow of migrants. So it was deactivated after serving just 525 people. But now that's all changing again. This city is going to go belly up trying to provide for people that we care about and nobody else does. Since May, more than 31,000 Latin American migrants have been sent to New York City, which has received none of the help requested from the federal government. It is necessary for the city to effectively respond to this humanitarian crisis with all stakeholders, especially in order to address long-term needs. Council members today with many questions about the care from food to shelter to legal services and notably mental health. Every staff member you saw has had psychological first aid training. Okay. That means every staff member has a set of eyes to see who needs mental health the most. While city health officials were testifying this afternoon about plans to provide mental health care to traumatized migrants, News 4 confirmed and reported that a second migrant committed suicide last week inside a shelter in Queens. Police sources say a father of three in his 20s left a note to take care of his three children. I am really concerned about the lack of money for mental health support. After the hearing, city health officials told us they were not allowed to answer our questions about the suicide. I'm supposed to hold off and talking to people, but I appreciate you asking. Can I just refer you to the city hall office? 